All right, I'm going to try to do some requests now. Um, let me give a little disclaimer. Um, I'm not a dentist and I'm not a professional by a long shot. I just got my dentures in December of last year. I'm still learning. Before then, I knew nothing about dentures and didn't even really think that I was going to have to get them or that I'd actually go through with getting them, at least not the way I ended up doing it. Anyways, um, so you should always like double check with your dentist because like some of the things that I say are just things that I do for myself personally, what I feel like works for me. And um, so I don't want like anything disastrous happening to you guys and then saying, oh, well, she does it. She told me to do it. No, this is just me sharing things that I do. Okay, so clear that up. Number one is like... Um, about my old teeth, my old teeth, like memories. Um, when I was a kid, I had really bad teeth. I had just horrible, like sensitivity issues. Like they, I couldn't tolerate like hot, cold, like toothpaste burnt my mouth. It was just awful. Brushing my teeth was a nightmare. It hurt really bad. My gums bled. It was just horrible. And um, I never went to the dentist. My parents just did not take me to the dentist. So. By the time I became, oh, and my, the way they looked, they were really crooked. Like my bottom teeth, um, after I lost all my baby teeth and my teeth grew back in, my bottom teeth were very, very crooked and had a jagged appearance. Um, and my top teeth had a gap in the middle um, and were somewhat crooked, but not not terribly bad. So by the time I was a teenager, due to improper care of my teeth, because my solution to that was just don't brush them. I mean, hey, that's every kid's solution, right? And if you don't have a parent following up to make sure that you're taking care of your teeth, then, you know, it, bad stuff will happen. And that's what happened with me. When I was 15, I got my first root canals, two of them. When I was 16, I ended up having uh, two of my molars taken out. Um, when I was 17, the tops of my teeth up front started uh, to sort of get small, tiny, like really, really tiny cavities. Um, then through each of my pregnancies from age, and that was three pregnancies from age 20 to last year, 26, I had bad morning sickness and vomited a lot and there was it just caused so much rapid decay of my teeth there was no saving them at one point I paid out of pocket to get root canals done on the fronts um, some fillings um, I had a tooth that had chipped off on the side over here that they had to extract the remnants of that and they filled up and they were supposed to do some bridge work and stuff it ended up getting really expensive. I was pregnant. They couldn't, you know, continue on with that kind of work while I was pregnant. At least, you know, that's my assumption. So don't take my word for it. So, and I wouldn't have wanted to go sit at the dentist's office when I was pregnant anyways. Any, anyhow, um, so yeah, just um, at the end of this past pregnancy, they just got horrible. And I'm talking about it was during that time that I got cavities on all of my bottom front teeth where there were no cavities before at least I didn't see any and um the enamel just by the end of my pregnancy the enamel was like basically gone you could see just nubs of what used to be my teeth and then the root canals that I had done in the front that filling just started to come out and chip away and I had like a really bad chip on the front of my tooth and so it all of my back teeth were just impacted and just decayed. It was just like I could not do anything with them. They served absolutely no purpose. I could not chew with them at that point. Like I could not chew anything. Everything I ate was if I had no teeth. Like I was mashing it up in my mouth. It was just horrible. So that's what led me to getting dentures because there was no other option for me. So that's what happened to my teeth. Um, the next thing is, um, how uh, do you take your teeth out at night? No, I don't. My dentist recommends me to do that. He says you should definitely take them out and give your gums a break and soak the dentures. Me, personally, I don't do that because I have my own logic behind it and my own reasoning. To me, I want my body to become as accustomed to these dentures as possible. 
like the more you wear something, the more you do something, your body starts to look at that as the norm. And I don't want to confuse my body by taking out my teeth for very long periods of time, like, you know, eight, nine hours a time or at a time every night, you know, and I don't want to. I don't want to do that because like I feel like my teeth are providing support for my face and my face structure and I in my own mind I think that if I were to take them out at night that my face would get too accustomed to that sunk in look and I would start getting wrinkles prematurely and my face would have like a a different appearance it wouldn't be as full to me, I feel like it was a nice transition from getting all of my teeth pulled to the way I look with dentures. I didn't lose any kind of like face structure whatsoever so long as I have the teeth in my mouth. So that's my logic behind that. Um, but I'm not suggesting that. That's just the way I feel I need to do it. So that's the way I'm going to do it. Um, how do you clean your teeth? Well, I showed you guys the the denture brush that I had, which is just, you know, the fat and like it looks like a giant toothbrush and on the other side of that is like a, a smaller one to get in like little crevices and then a little rubber pick at the end that kind of cleans each individual tooth out so here's what I do with that um, I clean them you know a couple times a day several times a day um, it just depends sometimes it's you know two sometimes three it just it all depends and um when I do it, I take the top ones out first, run them under water. Oh, before I even go any further with that, let me explain this. Because one of my friends on here brought it up to me that she has a fear of breaking her teeth. Well, guess what? So do I. Because, like, these bad boys are economy dentures, but they're still not cheap. So I want to take as good care of them as I possibly can. So every time I'm holding my dentures, every single time they are not in my mouth, they are not in any position to where if I could drop them, they would be broken. Because I did that one time. I didn't think. I pulled them out, and I dropped them, and they slid across the bathroom floor. My heart sunk into my stomach. I'm thinking, I cannot walk around with a missing tooth and a denture. That's just not a possibility for me. So when I checked it out, and I saw that like nothing happened to it I was like oh my god I'm never doing that again so every time I take my teeth out I am holding them either over a towel or over a sink full of water that's how I do things um, when I'm uh, and I don't even have to plug up my sink when I'm cleaning them because just the water running along yes I'm probably destroying the planet by doing that I'm so sorry for my eco-friendly friends on here, but that's just what I do. I let the water run, the sink fills up, and I run them underwater. Let the bottom soak um, while I'm cleaning the tops. I use denture toothpaste, but there's times when I don't use denture toothpaste. I use regular toothpaste, and I know people say that that's probably too abrasive for your teeth, but to me, I think that every once in a while doesn't hurt because it just makes them feel a lot more fresh to me, and they look a lot cleaner to me because I'm a coffee drinker, and they seem to do a better job at cleaning my teeth than just regular denture toothpaste does. So anyways, um, brush them really, really good. Um, run the brush under water to get most of the toothpaste off then I brush the top because in my experience if you use toothpaste or anything like that to clean the top off when you have like a lining in there it causes the lining to deteriorate faster and to change like shape to where it seemed like when I was doing it like that every day they got looser and looser and looser and when I stopped doing that I had no further changes and nothing I had no problems so that's how I do things um, clean them out really good um, do it at the top and bottom use the pick to get in every single crevice go over every single little crack of your teeth and get everything out I rinse my mouth out with Listerine the hardcore burning stuff I love it now it just it feels like it's really doing the job and making my mouth fresh and clean once I rinse with that I rinse out with water then I take a damp rag like as if I'm a baby and I I wipe all of my gums massage wipe get every single particle of anything out rinse with water again take the teeth put my powder adhesive on put the top in first let that set for a second then put the bottoms in make sure they're adjusted right clamp down and I'm done I'm good to go 
when you drink coffee like I do, you need to make sure that you are rinsing and wiping off after every cup you have if you don't want to have stains. That's just my logic here. It's not coming from a dentist. But I feel like if you get it off as soon as you're finished, just by like rinsing with water and like if you're in public and you don't have access to a washcloth, get a paper towel, go into a bathroom stall and just wipe it off. If you have like an ugly t-shirt on that you don't care about, just really quick, get it off. Don't let it set on too long because like I would hate to have stained dentures because I don't know how you would remedy something like that. Um, so that's what I do with that and I'm a, I'm a heavy coffee drinker and I have no problems with stains on my teeth. They're bright. Um, not bright bright. Not bright as I want them, but they still are white. I don't have any stains yet. Um, then we have Oh, and about about the um, taking them out at night, um, I do still soak them. I do soak them when I'm like in the shower, like take a couple showers a day, soak them while you're in the shower, soak them while you're in the bathtub shaving your legs. Um, when my husband's at work and I'm here with the kids, you know, I'll take them out during the day, let them soak for a little bit. Have had no problems with hygiene, nothing whatsoever, no issues. When I get a sore spot, I put Benzodent on there, and it just clears it right on up. Um, sometimes you can have like a little bit of chafing in your mouth, like up top, up there. I was having like kind of it felt like almost like a little raw spot, but not totally raw. Just it felt a little bit irritated. Gargle with salt water. Do it for you know sensitive spots or you know when you have pain whatever gargle with salt water I do it for like a few days and it clears whatever issue I have right up and I rarely have any kind of issues um, you can also gargle with peroxide I have yet to do that but the only reason is because I thought that it would taste how it smelled but I just recently talked to one of my friends and she said it doesn't she said that it has absolutely no taste so my gr my grandma who you know God rest her soul she's passed um, she used to have fantastic teeth, and guess what she used to clean them with? She used to clean them with baking soda and peroxide. I don't see anything wrong with that. Um, so, yeah, you could do that. Um, then with gagging, um, well, I'll get to gagging. Let me go on to adhesive first. I use the powder adhesive, and I have not experienced with anything else because I think that the powder adhesive is fabulous. I never have a problem with them, like, you know, coming up unexpectedly or... It just, it feels like it has a really secure hold, and I just, I like the fact that the powder is just not a cream. Cream kind of makes me weird it out a little bit, but, you know, to each his own. Um, speaking of the adhesives, I just became aware of the fact that there are lawsuits going on because the denture pastes and creams and all that stuff have got high amounts of zinc in them and it, or I don't know if it's high amounts but like when you use it for an extended period of time people have started getting zinc poisoning and that's something that I don't want to mess with so I googled it and there actually are a lot of um, zinc free adhesives on the market and I would recommend ordering stuff like that online anyways because like if you know you're going to use it regularly you can usually find stuff online way cheaper you can probably even find free shipping options I mean just google it go on eBay you know so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna order myself some zinc free adhesive and if they don't have it in powder form then I'm just cool with that because I would rather you know make sure that I'm not putting my health at risk than to worry about you know are my teeth staying in per perfectly so whatever gagging I don't gag I don't have any problems with gagging because I think I don't have a gagging a big gagging reflex anyways <clears throat> and I think that the reason why <clears throat> some people are having problems with gagging might be because the back plate might be touching that soft spot if you feel at the top of your mouth where it's hard and then you get to that part where it gets soft it may be touching that spot and some people may be a lot more sensitive in that area than others I'm not really sensitive but mine doesn't touch there anyways um, so I would either recommend going to your dentist and asking if they can like shave the back to make it thinner so it's not so bulky back there um, which I did which is what improved my speech like dramatically after I got that done he did that for me no problem or maybe if you know you need your teeth to go back like really far anyways try to get them to curve it a little bit so that that main spot isn't hitting back there because I think that might be what the problem is if not then I'm so sorry like I don't know what to tell you because I don't have that problem um, 
then just showing my teeth and I've got more suggestions that I will get to next time. That curved ridge there and the top. I'm running out of time, so I hope that answered some questions. <laughs>